Well, Mike Matthew, gentlemen, congratulations. You're going into the third and final round where you'll be battling it out from your home forges, fighting for that title of Forge and Fire champion and a check for $10,000. Now guys, in this final round, you will be building an iconic weapon from history. And that weapon is this. Match set of curved guitars. While the guitar was immensely popular in India during the 16th and 17th century, this curved version is extremely rare and has been hailed as one of the most unique weapons in history. The Arneet handle construction features two bars for the grip and provides the user enough control to make a very effective fighting knife. As a pair, the curved guitars were designed to deliver quick and lethal stabs and slashes using both arms. Today, this one-of-a-kind weapon can be seen on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Do your very best work. We will see you in four days. My name is Matthew Shirey. I live in the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina, and I think I'm ready to win. I've got a wife and two little boys. We like to spend a lot of time in the outdoors together. I think I can be pretty funny sometimes. I, I make my kids laugh anyway. I don't know about other people. I'll put the piece of steel in between those two dies and, and forge the full earth. This is the part I was most nervous about, so I'm going to take it nice and slow. Finally got my fullers roughed in. These are the crossbars for the handle. Challenges are going to be getting these handles just right. So I've just done what's called a reverse twist there. I've got the frames fabricated for my, my blades and the crossbars, and it's time to start assembling them. My handle in round two wasn't quite perfect, and uh, I want to make sure that doesn't happen in the final round. Got the handles attached to the blades and uh, ready for heat treat. This is always the moment of truth. I'm a little nervous going into it. Yep, that one looks good. Get number two, and we're good to go. Good and hard. I feel ecstatic about my progress. I'm really pleased with the way they're looking. Mike Tomoski, I'm a knife maker from West Point, Nebraska. I'm a stay-at-home dad, and I make knives in my free time. Rooting for me back home is my family. They mean the world to me, and they would love if I brought this money back to them. I want to get this going right now, yeah, for sure. Am I cussing too much? I'm thinking this one steel construction, you know, might put me over the top. I'm stoked about how it's looking right now. I need to be comfortable in their hands. That means that it's better to go wider. So I want to make sure that they're not digging into their arms. They're looking good. I'm having a little bit of an issue getting these two sides of the brackets lined up perfectly. It looks like I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to figure this out quick, though. Uh, there's not, not a lot of time left. I think before I start making another one, I might try to forge weld that back on there. If I can get this back on there, it'd be a miracle. Ah, oh, I'm done. So I got this broken blade. I'm gonna need to try to salvage this. I'm gonna try to weld the bracket back together. It's gonna be interesting. If this welder does not work, I'm probably not going to be able to have a second blade to turn in. Here I go. We'll see if it holds. I'm going to throw it a few times and see what happens. If it's going to fail, I want it to fail here in my hands, not when the judges are using it. I mean, I feel good about that. Let's get these handles on here. So at the end of day four, finally got these finished and sharpened. I am super stoked right now. All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the dynamic kill test. Mike, you're first. You ready? I'm ready. All right, Mike, let's talk about your curved guitars here. For a match set, not bad. They're almost identical in the feel of your weapon. Your edges are sharp, and overall, sir, 
Bill Keel. It's great to hear. Matthew, your turn. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's have fun. Alright, Matthew, let's talk about your curved guitars here. First up, I like the scale of your blades because guitars are the, well, the big daddies of push daggers. And push daggers are relatively small, so there's a scale that goes with it to make it easier to control. And I think you've got that with your blades. It actually gives also a nice support when I'm stabbing and slashing. Overall, sir, your curved guitars, you look heel. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, welcome to our dynamic strength test, the kendo stick chop and ballistic tube slice. Mike, you're up first. Are you ready? Yep, let's do it. OK. Mike, right off, it's an interesting way to build these. It's a non-traditional way. But um, the issue I have is that there's so much space around my hands that they, they kind of tr are trying to find what's comfortable. The other thing that uh, we've noticed is your blade is really no longer in line with the handle. But good cutters, they held up. Nice and done. Thanks, Dave. Matthew, you ready? Let's do it. OK. So Matthew, right off, good traditional look to these. I like that a lot. They cut like they're supposed to cut. They're plenty strong. They held their edge beautifully. Good job. Thank you. Placements, there is nothing easy about fighting this forge. And the two of you proved yourself in the final round with some unique blades. Now, unfortunately, only one of you go home today with the win. Today's Forge of Fire champion is... Matthew, congratulations, man. Mike. You fought hard, you're a talented smith, but unfortunately, you're not taking home the win today. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Thank you, Mike. Thank, Thank you, Mike. sir. Good fight, Mike. Pretty bummed right now. A lot of highs and a lot of lows, and here we are. Matthew, that makes you today's Forge and Fire champion. You just got yourself a check for $10,000. Congratulations. How you feeling? Fantastic. I feel elated. It's been a, a hard challenge from the first round to the last. I'm just on cloud nine right now. <laughs> 